Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. So let's uh, jump straight into this project, shall we? So first of all, I'm going to create a dictionary called people. And I'm going to give it some values in here. So Dave. Uh, Dave is a joiner. And let's say another value, let's say uh, Bob is a builder okay so Bob is a builder right okay now we're going to click create a class not a class a function called intro so this is our first function called intro and this is where we print out some information to the user so the user knows what's it's what it's all about so welcome to the data base okay and a new line character there okay and another line print let's have a look to get access to get oh dear hitting all the wrong keys today to get access <clears throat> enter your passwords so enter your password so to get access to the database you need to enter your password and I'm going to type enter password here, which is going to bring us on to our next function, which is going to be called enter password. So define enter password. Okay, so this is the next function. So I'm going to set a password here. So pass word let's say is equal to one two three uh, a so, is that right one two three a b c okay that's our password uh, not the strongest password ever but uh, this is just a, a demo for this this is just an example Okay, so we're going to create uh, entry one, which is going to be equal to input. So we're going to grab some user input here and uh, we'll type in enter password. So the user can then enter the password in. Okay, now we're going to uh, we've got first of all we're going to check the length of the password so if len here which will check the length of entry one is less than let's say I don't know less than three okay and we're going to check if entry one is say not equal to password then we're going to do something okay so we're going to print some information to the user so the user knows what's going on so we're going to simply print access denied okay else if they get uh, they get the password right if the password is long enough and they get it right else we're going to print password granted Okay, and then we're going to say database, 
which is a function we're going to create in a second or two. Okay, so this should have actually been access granted, not password. Access granted, okay. So we're going to go down now and we're going to create a function called database data base okay so that's our function there yeah, so data base and now uh, I'm just gonna I'm going to create a variable called X you can name it anything you want but I'm just gonna call it X for simplicity okay so X is equal to I'm gonna say int because we're going to be entering an integer into this field int input and uh, we're going to give the user <coughs> some options so number one clear option one is going to be clear which will clear the whole list option two is going to be update so we can update the list or the database so we can update it uh, option three is going to be print so we can print out all the values in there okay so uh, we've done that now okay so we're going to go on to a conditional now so whatever option the user chooses we're going to do something about it so if X is let's say equal to one which is the first option if x is equal to one uh, which is clear so we're going to say people dot clear so this will clear the database and then of course we're going to uh, print the database out so print people so you can see that the database has been cleared and then of course we're going to print a message to the user telling the user exactly what we've done so um, let's say data base cleared database cleared okay so that's option one and now we're going to create an L if statement. So L if. So here, L if X is equal to option two, we're going to do something about it. So what is option two? Option two is update. There we go. So L if X is equal to option two, uh, we're going to do something. So basically, update dictionary okay this update dictionary here is referring to a function that I'm going to create in a minute underneath it so basically if you type in option 2 this will just jump straight to the uh, update dictionary function okay and the uh, next L if statement here L if X is equal to uh, option three here so x is equal to our option three uh, which is print so we're going to print out the dictionary slash database so print people so we're going to print it all out okay this brings us on to our last function which is update the dictionary or the database okay so we're going to update it here so we're going to use a for loop so we can loop through this so for i which I'm gonna which for me is short for index i in range of three here Basically, we're going to update uh, the entries 
in this uh, database slash dictionary. So name is equal to input and the user will be prompted to input their name here. So enter name. Okay. And the next one that we're going to do is going to be job because this database is containing names and jobs. So job is equal to input, which will get the user input, enter job. Okay, right, now we've got to do the magic. We've got to update this uh, dictionary here. So the name of it, of course, is people. Okay, and we use some brackets, name, and then equal to job. Okay, so this should update it with the new details that the user has entered in. And then all we have to do is print out the uh, dictionary, which is people. And uh, we're nearly finished. And the last thing to do is to call the function. So I'm going to call it starting with intro. Now all we have to do right now is to just save it, cross our fingers and uh, hope I've not made any typos and run the program. So here we go. Okay, so enter password one, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, so we've got uh access granted so we can either clear update or print it so i'm going to hit one here okay database cleared okay so let's just uh, click off that and let's just run it again okay enter password one two three a b c uh okay so we've done clear so let's do update option two enter Enter name, let's say, uh, let's say Paul. Okay, enter job, let's say, uh, driver. Okay, okay, so let's just stretch that out a little bit so we can see it. So, there we go in the database, we've got Paul and we've got driver. Okay, let's uh, just run this again. Right, enter password one, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, I'm going to use option three here, which is to print out everything. Uh, I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit so you can see it better. Hit enter three. Okay, so we've not entered anything and it's just printed out. Uh, what is already in the database. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you have, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you in another video. Bye-de-bye.